a number arrangement machine uh, arranges two digit numbers in a typical manner each step takes gives output taking from the input from the previous step the following is an illustration of the input and rearrangement using the illustration answer the question below so this is the basic uh, operations that is happening okay they have given a particular input so this is the input that you are giving and these are the different steps that is being followed to arrive at the final output so you have to decode what is happening in each step key to solve questions on machine input output that is the questions that come in the latest pattern is this each step look at the numbers okay see what is given here there are there is one set two two correct and you have one four so using these two boxes right they have arrived at these two numbers eight and two see in what if what operation you do you will get these numbers see either operation is done with the first number in the first cell and the first number in this cell or some operation will be done with the second number in this cell and the second number here or first and second second and first so try out uh, all possibilities that can come right that is the way you go about uh, approaching these questions right see they are very clearly given using these two boxes you are getting this box okay see it is just something like number series only what we do in number series uh, uh, some numbers are given you have to find out how you are arriving at the next number correct okay see first step is fairly easy you should be able to get the first step faster see again another thing is that in machine input output when such a question comes in the exam let us assume that you are able to do only first step and second step and you are stuck at the third step then do what you do just leave the uh, third step see the questions whatever there uh, are there based on the first two steps right see lot of times what happens is uh, the question will be uh, if this particular input will is applied what will be the number that comes in the first step so when you have got the first two steps you will be able to at least answer those questions right okay so let me start uh, solving yeah first one is very easy so uh, see what is here you have 2 2 and 1 4 so what we are doing is we are taking the first digit of the first number and the second digit of this number this fourth number correct second digit of the fourth number and we are multiplying it and getting this box okay 2 into 4 is 8 correct 2 into 4 is 8 similarly you take the second digit of the first number and the first digit of the fourth number you multiply that to get the value in the next box right that is you do uh, 2 into 1 that is equal to 2 similarly 6 into that is the first uh, digit in the second number and the second digit in the fifth number 6 into 1 is 6 1 into 2 is 2 similarly 1 into 4 is 4 2 into 2 is 4 so that is the first step right we are multiplying the first digit of the first number right first number into the second digit of the here in the first case it is the fourth number right likewise for each case that is the pattern that is being followed in the first step now look at the next step what is the pattern that is being followed in the next step the next step how you do it is add the first digit of all the numbers right and write them in reverse that's what they have done so what are the first digit in all the numbers here you have 8 here you have 6 and here you have 4 so what is 8 plus 6 plus 4 that is nothing but 18 now what is the reverse of 18 reverse of 18 is 81 that is what they have written here correct similarly you have 2 plus 2 plus 4 next uh, take the second digits in each number so 2 plus 2 plus 4 what is that that is 8 or you can say it is 0 8 correct so when you reverse it it will become 80 that is what they have written here yes now uh, again from this uh, this is the second step now how do you get the third step here you are adding the first digit of the first value with the first digit of the second value that is how you are getting the answer 16 that is you are adding first digit of the first value with the first digit of the second value so 8 plus 8 that is equal to 16 correct and then uh, what are you doing for uh, finding this next digit what they have done is they are adding the second digit of the first value with the first digit of the second value that is how you get 9 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 correct that is a bit confusing there uh, a bit tricky one right so 
uh, how do I, how am I getting this step? Let me explain it once again. Here you are adding the first digit of the first value and the first digit of the second value. That is 8 plus 8, 16. Now to get this 9, what you do is you are adding the second digit of the first value and the first digit of the second value. So you get 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. So here 8 plus 8 is 16. Now you are coming to the last step. So how do you arrive at the last step? So you have 16 and 9, 16 minus 9, right? Subtract, just subtract. 16 minus 9 gives you 7. So that is how you arrive at the last step. Okay, so I hope the uh, steps is clear. Now let us look at the question. So see, uh, the most important thing when it comes to machine input output is if you know the steps to be followed, solving questions from that becomes very easy. So look at the input that is given here. This is the input that is given. Now let us find out the output that you get. Now we know the steps. We'll just try out and get the answer, okay? 2, 3, you have 1, 2. So this will be uh, 2, 1, 3, 1, and 4, 4, okay? Yeah. So what do you do here? First step, what will happen? You have to combine this first number and this fourth number. So here you will get 2 into 1, correct? That is you are multiplying the first digit in the first number and the second digit in the fourth number. So 2 into 1, that will give you here you will have 2 into 2 that is equal to 4. Similarly, the output of these two will be what? Here you have 2, here you have 1. So 2 into 1 is 2, then you have 3. 3 into 3 is 9. Again, so 1 into uh, 4, that is 4, 4 into 2, correct? That is 8. So here, uh, the next step, what do you do? You have you are adding all the first digits, right? 2 plus 2 plus 4, that is 8. So you have 8 or it is 0, 8, correct? 2 plus 2 plus 4, 0, 8. So you reverse it and write, it will be 80. Now last digits you are adding, second digits. 4 plus 9 plus 8. So 4 plus 9 plus 8 is 21. You reverse it and write, you will get 12. Okay? Now uh, final uh, here, what do you do? Uh, you are adding first digit of the first value with the first digit of the second value. So you have 8 plus 1 that is 9. The first digit of the first value with the first digit of the second value and then second digit of the first value with the first digit of the second value. So you have 1 here, correct? You do 0 plus 1 that is 1. So now the final step will be 9 minus 1 that is 8. So 8 will be the final answer. Okay, now the first question is this, if the value of 6 is added to the final output, then what will be the resultant value? So your final output was 8, right? If you add 6 to 8, then you will get 14, correct? C, yes. Yeah, that is the question on machine input output. See, I took this question because I wanted uh, you guys to try out the steps, right? Because as and when you practice these steps or uh, see these kind of questions very often only, when it comes in the exam, uh, you will be able to crack these questions. So that's about the machine input output question. So I hope the question was clear, right?